there is a season, the second season coming, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. That, um, let's just talk, let's just go down the line. I mean, were you fans? Yellowstone, 1883, you know, had a huge fan following. So were you fans before coming in to this? I'm not going to lie. My dad is a mega fan of Yellowstone. And I purposely didn't watch it to make him mad. Um, but now I have. And I love Yellowstone. I loved 1883. It is amazing. And I'm so thankful to be a part of this. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I also, I did not know the Yellowstone universe. And I did not, yeah, I didn't. So I kind of came into this blind as well, but we're here, baby. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, I was saying some joke. My parents loved the show. They begged me and my brothers to watch it. We purposely didn't to mess with them. And then I got the audition. And they were like, "Now you have to watch it." And then I did, and loved it, and I'm very lucky to be here. Like this, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, my family is, they're all super in Yellowstone, and I've seen some of it. I thought 1883 was a masterpiece, and yeah. I've just been a diehard Taylor Sheridan fan for years. Woo! Yeah. 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 But, you know, let's go back because Taylor Sheridan is a fantastic, you know, he's a genius, but also, he doesn't really tell you very much about your characters, about, you know, he keeps things under wraps a lot. So what did he tell you about 1923 and your character? Brendan, I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> well, I knew he was a veteran. I knew that. And I knew he was a big game hunter. I knew he was the son of uh, Tim Fay's character in Brother Dale, so, and John. Uh, that's about as far as it went. Uh, that's it, yeah. That's it. Just a couple little nuggets. Um, yeah, well, we, we kind of all discovered it as he wrote it. We, going in, we all, none of us really knew that much, right? No. I thought I was going to be dead and gone early. And every day at Cowboy Camp, you'd get so mad at me because I'd come and I'd be like, I think I'm just, I'm not going to be around for a while. You're not going to die. And you would be like, Julia, you're the romantic lead of our storyline. You're not dying. And I was like, oh, I'm so mad. Um, but we didn't know much. And we did the scripts, and as they came, we would all, like, quarantine to our own rooms and read them. And then afterwards, we're like, we got and you know, get together and talk about it. But yeah, with Alex, I knew she was royalty. Uh, Taylor early on told me she was, you know, like twenty second in line to the throne or something like that. And um, twenty second specifically. Oh. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I knew that she was there for her engagement trip and a countess. And but every script you get, you're just learning more and more. Agreed. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really know a lot either, to be honest. Um, I don't even think I knew that Tiona was a rainwater when I was first um, auditioning for the show. And to be honest, I didn't know Yellowstone. So <laughs> it was kind of just, um, I was here to tell our stories, really. And that's, that's the goal, baby. I keep saying baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the cool thing is we all were so equally excited to read the scripts, even though we were a part of the story, I was just so excited to know what happened to your characters, let alone mine, but um, that's rare with writing, so that was special about Taylor. Yeah. Julie, you mentioned Cowboy Camp, um, for those of you who don't know about it, tell, share what it's about and what you had, what you all had to go through, because, the, you know, there's a lot of, how many of you could ride horses, and like, the, the training that you had to go through for this. Well, we all thought we could ride horses, <laughs> and we went to cowboy camp, and we could not ride horses. Um, <laughs> um, it was, I mean, it was the greatest time of our lives, though. It was um, originally two weeks scheduled for us 
to, to train and learn how to ride horses with the best wranglers in the world. And um, we got lucky, we got like an extra month of cowboy camp because they were filming in Montana and we were waiting to go to Africa. We were chapped. We were trapped. <laughs> no. Trapped and chapped. Oh, <laughs> except trapped. We were both of those things. Um, but yeah, we were riding every day. We'd get up early and, um, and yeah, we, we hit it. <laughs> uh, no, it was boot camp. Cowboy yeah. boot camp emphasis on that. We were beat. We would take ice baths together. <laughs> Outside. There's photo evidence of that. There's photo evidence. I mean, yeah. we were battered and, and bruised and scales on our butt cheeks. It was intense, but honestly, the Wranglers and the whole entire team was class act. They were incredible teachers and just incredible people. And honestly, one of the best times of my life being with each of you. It was nice. <laughs> but you mentioned Africa, and also, you know, Taylor did actually send you both to South Africa to shoot on location, getting up close with leopards and everything else. I mean, what was that experience like? And then also, were you wondering, like, how does this tie in to the other timeline, to the, to the um, yeah. <laughs> Africa was amazing. Um, yeah, we, I mean, when do you get to go to Africa to shoot something like this, or Malta, or Kenya, or South Africa, whatever, I mean, we were really out there with those elephants. They were real and we were feeding them oranges and you know, we were freezing in the water tank in Malta. So we didn't really have to act during those scenes because we were hurting. Um, but no, I mean, it was just like, we're so lucky to get to live the things that our characters are living every single day. I was always confused about how I tied into the Dunn family line, as we discussed earlier. He would get so mad at me about that, but um, I, it was like, I might die next episode. Um, I was like, everyone online was like, I think she's dead. And I was like, I thought so too. But um, no, yeah, it was very lucky. I second that. <laughs> no, it, was, it was amazing. I mean, it's like she said, Taylor writes or somewhere you're going there and uh, as an actor it just helps so much just to you know you're not on a sound stage somewhere you're you're in Africa with some lions some leopards some lions. yeah <laughs> lions tigers and bears <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tiona is such an incredible character <laughs> Talk about exploring her and just getting to portray this character, especially I'm thinking of like, you know, she's Sister Mary in episode four, five, like, and that scene, which I think some of those lines were from your actual audition tape, right? Yes, they were. Um, I actually did the audition tape in Crow and in English um, twice, three times, I think. Uh, I performed it twice for Tay, Tay Tay, <laughs> and then I put, put it on tape. But um, getting to bring Tiona to life, not only um, for you guys, but for all of our indigenous um, relatives is extremely important. And it is a deep, deep honor to be here. And honestly, um, what a, what a privilege to be here on the uprise of us really coming to, to Hollywood. You know, I think there's so much great native and indigenous television now, and it's only gonna continue to grow. And most importantly, to tell this specific story. Um, that was something that was equally as scary as, um, as amazing. You know, there's, there's so much weight to it in all the ways that you can imagine. Um, but I really hope that, you know, the story has allowed anyone who didn't know about the boarding schools and assimilation in general to uh, 
find a new, um, uh, well, just really to research and to realize that you could never bury us. Woo! And we're here, we're here to <laughs> Did you have theories about your character and how she ties into the whole story? Like, what's your, yeah, what was your thinking? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, um, I wasn't really, I didn't know Yellowstone, so I was like, ah, oh, okay, rainwater, rad. Uh, my theories were really just Taylor. <laughs> um, Taylor is a, such a realist and He's an advocate for the indigenous community um, in Turtle Island, so I feel like that's where it fit because it's the truth. It's it's what it's yeah. what actually happened, and he he felt like he needed to tell the story, you know. And thank God because now everyone is witnessing it in real time, and there's um you you have no uh, way to escape it now. Um, it's in your face, and yeah. it should be. Right. I'm assuming people here have seen the whole series because I want to talk about yeah okay great I want to talk about episode five and um, Michelle the, the vows and that you know I mean that was such an incredible moment um, talk about shooting shooting that shooting that well I wish Darren was here I feel like I'm missing part of me um, Darren had a delayed flight because we're in a hurricane in California. <laughs> um, but shooting that, it was it was special because I didn't know, obviously when I first um, auditioned for this project, I had only read the first three scripts, so I didn't really know if I was going to actually marry into the Dutton family. Similar to you, I was like, do I die? Um, I mean, thus far I have not. Um, but it was special. I mean, I just, I'm so thankful. I shared my first movie that I ever did with Darren. And so this is my first television show. And so I, I just am really thankful that I had him as a scene partner. And yeah, no, she was here. <laughs> um, we have to talk about your incredible co-stars, uh, Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, Tim, you know, Timothy Dalton. <clears throat> Talk about lessons that you, you know, you've learned from them or just observing. I had a master class of acting every single day I was on set with Helen and Harrison. It was the coolest thing, especially Helen, because I was working really closely with her in certain scenes. And they are just so authentically themselves and um, they have, they add so much to a scene as scene partners, like you literally cannot ask for a better scene partner. I learned so much. And then as people too, they're so gracious and kind, and I will take things that they taught me with me for the rest of my career. <coughs> and I can't give away the secrets, <laughs> no. because there's a lot of them. <laughs> and then I got real deep in the cast chairs. There was actually one day I walked on set, and <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a secret. No, um, it's not, it's just kind of embarrassing of me. I walked on set and <laughs> there was my chair and then Harrison's and then Helen's and I was like one is not like the other and I took a photo and my mom um, printed it out and gave it to me for Christmas. We love those little like car secrets. Anybody else? I mean now we're just yeah. we're all friends now so <laughs> any other secrets to share? <laughs> Wait, no, no. Okay, this show it stands on its own, right? Like, obviously, it's part of Yellowstone and, and the Duttons, but like, I think we've seen the popularity of it. You can just go on the internet and type in different theories that people have about your characters and what they think is going to happen. What does that mean to you that, like, you know, because obviously there's pressure, but like, now that look how many people come out for this show tonight and to see you um you know what does that mean to each of you <laughs> brandon let's, let's start with you well yeah i mean there's there's such a there's such a massive following with this whole 
thing that Taylor's created. The Yellowstone community, 1883, and you, you can't not feel that, the responsibility to, to fill these shoes and to do the Dutton thing, whatever that thing is, and do it well. Um, yeah, it's just motivating. It's motivating to do the work and, and to dig deep and, and commit yourself to it. It really is. So I mean, all you can ask for is a, a built-in audience that's for sure going to be looking for it, you know, really. I mean, it's the most special thing in the world. I feel so endlessly lucky every day, and people have been so kind, and I'm just happy people like it. You know, we were abroad, and we would always be like, wow, this feels like such a, it feels like our little secret, what we're making. It, it doesn't, like, it feels like it's our little thing, and then the first episodes were coming out, and we're like, wow. <laughs> A secret <laughs> and how like everyone's like throwing your heart on the table for everyone to see it's it's very surreal but i'm just i'm so grateful i mean my dreams have come true and to get to play these characters i think that are so special and dynamic it, it's you it couldn't ask for anything more and with these people who i love so dearly it's 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 unreal we're so grateful to all of you we really are I do piggyback, and to be honest, you guys, this has happened for all of us so quickly. This is only month seven since we started. Um, yeah, since we met. Uh, so it's it's a whirlwind to be here, and it is such an honor. And you guys said all the things I wanted to say. So <laughs> that. Think something. Think something. Well, I think, I think something. Uh, no, I mean it's it's an incredible honor to be here, uh, and. Like, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> There's so much pressure right now. Just everything we said. That's not just going to say what we said. It's very special, and I, I think it's rare to come onto a show with such a, like, with a strong fan base. And so knowing that 1923 has a lot of the Yellowstone fans is really cool because people are so passionate about our characters, and you put so much love and effort into every scene as an actor and to know that people are watching it and appreciate it is um, all you can ask for. It's, I love that. It's a very physical show, but like, what's the, what was the most challenging, what was some of the most challenging scenes for you to shoot this season? The water. <laughs> water was really challenging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason Rodriguez, our stunt guy, came up to us. He's like, "You guys can swim, right?" I was like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can swim. I'm, a swimmer. I'm in shape. Uh, I can't swim. I hardly. I was. I hadn't swum a lap in probably ten years. I was like, "I go to Malibu and flail around in the water. It's not swimming." Uh, I ain't swimming. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, we had to get ready to do that, just to, just to be underwater for a while and get comfortable being in tight spaces underwater. It's crazy, because in the show, it's only a few minutes, but we were in there for five days and <laughs> swimming, and uh, our director for that episode, Guy Furlan, was hilarious. We'd be out in the tank for, for hours, just sh like shivering. And Taylor writes these scenes where he's got action, and in the middle is this really heartfelt, emotional moment. It's a dialogue, and then more action. So your nervous system is just in overdrive, and you don't know what the hell's going on. And you're shaking, and you're cold, and you're crying, and you're yelling. And we come in off the water, and Guy Ferlin would be like, hey, buddy, man, it really looked like you guys were struggling out there. It's really good. So what you're doing is really good. Uh, it, looks, it looks pretty real. Uh, it looks real because it is real. Uh, I'm dr literally drowning. Freezing, and I'm, yeah. I'm very sad. <laughs> so I'm happy that it's good. <laughs> We were hurting. We were blue. Yeah, we got in trouble a lot because during that week, we would be like in those scenes, those parts where I'm like screaming, like Spencer, and he's like Alex, and we start. We knew they would 
literally gauge when they needed to pull us out of the water because we would stop screaming our characters' names and start screaming each other's names because we were literally drowning. I'd be like, we're out there! And then we'd be like, we're out there! And we didn't even know, and they pulled us out of the water. And they were like, yeah, you guys, we had to pull you out when you started saying each other's names for real. And we were like, what? And we just like go into the warming trailer and like lie comatose for 30 minutes. Shaking, but would do it again. <laughs> We're in Malta. Hit the water, water tank, tank, baby. Hit the water tank. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get in there and play around for a few days, it's fun. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.